So in this video, we're going to have a look at creating a steel frame valley. And we've got the L shape of the building with the portals already constructed. And what I've also done is just created some extra uh, grid lines here for the ridge on both directions, making sure they are centered. OK, so just important that you get those in the right places. And what I've also done, if we have a look at one of that sections, I've created a level here for the top of the ridge. So that can be a handy point to work from. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the two ridge beams themselves. So structure tab beam, select the correct beam. And then we've got to just check our placement is top of ridge. OK, so let's zoom in a bit and get that from beam to beam across there. And it'll tell us it's not visible, but we don't worry about that at the moment. And then we'll have another one from the center of the beam we've just created over to that one by there. And again, we get the same warning. But now we'll just go across to the 3D view. And we can see that we have created our ridge beams going across there. OK. So what we're going to do now is just add some connections on this here. So we'll go steel connection. Don't want a generic connection. All right. And this one is just going to be um, Anything fairly simple and straightforward. All right. Um, could perhaps do something a little bit chunkier than that. So whichever connection anyway you feel you want in by there. All right. And again, you would also want connections on here. Um, that one actually sort of fits in from there, but you may well end up having to do your own custom connections on some of these, but get the gist. All right, so that's the first point, getting those two ridge beams in. Now we actually want the valley beams. Okay, so what we're going to do here is go back to our ridge and we can see we've got that there going out to there. All right, so that's where our beam needs to be. So let's go to structure beam. Now this one, okay, top of ridge. So our start point is going to be at the intersection there to the intersection by there. And then what we need to do is do the um, select that beam. And now we've got a start level and an end level. So we need the difference between those levels. And we can see that over here as 1507. So what we can just do is do the start level as minus 1507. And that should bring that down spot on by there. So now when we look at that in 3D, we can see we've got that beam splaying across at that nice angle. OK. And, and we'll keep that selected. Um, perhaps we'll use a different plan where we can actually see the line now. And I'll just use the mirror command and pick that point and mirror it over to that one. So now when we look at it, we've got those beams. And now we just want to add some connections here. So I'm just going to highlight those beams there and just add a connection. And for that one, I'll do the bracing I bracing ice plate. Bleh, there we go. Splice plates double. OK, and I'm going to use that one there. So that gives that a fairly substantial connection. And on this bit down here, I'm going to highlight these three beams. 
and do a steel connection by there and that one's going to be another bracing splice as well and Not that one. Oh, wait there. That's it. That's the one. All right, then. So we'll go for that. And that just gives that some sort of connection by there. And I could repeat that on that side as well. There we go. So we've just got a steel connection, but again, you may wish to do something a bit different. That's fine. And OK, so that gives us our steels by there. Now, these steels we don't actually need um, in that shape. We can stop them at these connection points by here. So what we're going to do is just connect those up to each other. So I'll just drag that one back. You've got to make sure you, you get that in the correct line, which there we go. Might be easier if I zoom in a bit so you can. So you just about locks on that center line. OK, and then we can just connect those together. And when we connect these, um, this is going to be a uh, so there we go, clip angle skewed and that sometimes happens so fear not all you have to do here is just correct which one of these is the primary and secondary member and that will just adjust it like so so now we can see that cuts down into there and we can just do the same on this one as well so i'll just drag that up on there so it's get that locking into the right place can't quite find it. I'll uh, just undo that because I've lost my straight line. Now, if you are struggling to move that, one way that you could do this a bit more easily is actually with a section like so. So if I just drag that one to there and then jump onto that section, which I think is section one. You can click on the correct beam and just drag that up. And it's much easier to actually follow the line now. And we look at that in 3D and we can see we've done that there. A little bit too far. And now I'll just connect those two beams together. Was the there we go the skewed one and we'll just again swap those around by pressing the little dots by there and that does that so that's fine okay so that creates our actual steel frame itself so that's step one so i'm going to stop this video by here and um, make sure you keep your notifications turned on for the next one where we'll be looking at placing some extra elements like the purlins themselves going around and creating the basis of the valley okay thank you for watching